Uh, hey guys, I'm Tehu and welcome to my little tutorial about uh, tech trees and the battle frames in Firefall. Uh, it seems to be a bit of confusing for the new players, it was confusing for me too, um, how actually the class system, the skills and stuff works in Firefall. Uh, as you know, Firefall is mainly a shooter, uh, which has added MMO features. Uh, it has an open world and it's really really a nice game and if you're having trouble with your gears and skills then maybe this will help. Um, first of all when you start the game you get you, you get to pick one battle frame and that's a tier 1 battle frame. This doesn't mean you were restricted to the class you picked up, it just means that you started with this one. You can change it immediately, you can buy more frames. It costs a little uh, in-game money, called Crystite, you see it on the right. Um, and when you have some of the Crystite, it won't be any issue to change battle frames and different stuff. Okay, so the most important stuff is probably the garage. In garage you have uh, slots for multiple uh, battle frames. Um, as I said, you will start up with one, tier one, and soon you will get another one. I think the quest line will take you there. Uh, and when you start shooting, you don't you start playing. Sorry, <coughs> you don't have any XP, so your tech tree is uh, all locked out um, and tech tree is actually a way to progress your character uh, to unlock different modules and basically the game game's idea is that a cord which is the um, global uh, military force that fights the chosen and uh, the melding uh, creates basic items. They are usually call, called Accord modules, Accord turret mode, uh, or something like that. And then we have three companies. One is Astrek, the second one is Kisutin or Kisutin, and the third one is Omnidyne M. They're, they have very similar modules, they just vary in small stuff, like they have a little bigger re blast radius, um, they, re they recharge faster and stuff like that and they have different constraints so you can you have to um, vary with gear what what you can use at the moment the whole game is made that like there is no restrictions so we can test out the printed gear in tier 2 uh, tech trees I'll show them later um, well, when you get some XP, you can use it to upgrade your gear. I still have 13,000 XP here, so I can show you how to unlock um, new skills. The ones that glow green, they can be unlocked. The one, these ones are already unlocked. And to unlock any of the gray ones, you need to get there uh, via a path. So for now, I will unlock the suit and plating that has really nice damage reduction 8, 8% but doesn't give me um, HP boost I've tried this uh, armor in my um, tier 1 biomedic and it's I think it's a really good armor so might be worth getting once you unlock the skill tree uh, skill item items in skill tree then you can wear them so we can leave the tech tree now and since we unlocked a new plating let's go look under the plating as you can see we have the new 8% damage reduction plating available we click it and it's um, and we slot it so the yellow one or bronze one is the one that's equipped and when you select another one you get comparison which is better or worse or what does it do okay so now since we've equipped our new uh, weapon or armor we can 
leave the battle frame garage and you can start fighting to test it out it still shows like I have 100 HP bonus but this will change now as you can see it takes little seconds a few seconds to get it uh, updated okay now that we have this done I'll show you what you do when you get to the tier 2 side so um, to unlock a tier 2 battle frame you need to unlock it via two paths so middle one is the one you will need for both and then upper or lower one I've decided to go for the Rhino Dreadnought I'm not sure about the Mammoth at the moment I've been playing more uh, biotech battle frames I just unlocked the second one so this looks pretty nice for me but for for this tutorial I'll just show you on the Dreadnoughts so um, after you unlock both ones you can actually delete the tier 1 and just use these two uh, battle frames or you can use any other uh, battle frames if you want to go engineer or something um, tier 2 specialty is that you can actually print uh, the gear you unlocked let me show you the tree so in in the tree we have for example the ability model of the or the Kisutin heavy machine gun module and their basic stats are not impressive but what is impressive I'll just change my gear uh, my frame right now um, you need to go to the battle frame station and here you have available um, battle frames that you already purchased and geared in the garage so I'm changing now to a tier 2 battle frame so I can more easily show you how the printer works uh, this is the molecular printer it's a gra crafting system in uh, Firefall you have basically two slots probably these two will be opened later to craft stuff and it, it consists of different um, types of crafting some are consumables like health packs glider packs sonic detonators then you have thumpers you can craft um, and parts for the different crafts um, you can also refine cristite and refine different um, compounds of it and at the bottom when you unlock tier 2 skills you will start getting uh, ability modules um, weapons and um, gear like down here we have secondary weapons primary weapons bio needler uh, servos etc and when you decide to print one you have an option to add any of the Christite compound you own you need 500 for each craft and the thing is when you change a, a different Christite compound it will change the stats of the item so if I choose uh, a quartzite I will get about these stats and if I change for let's say coralite the stats change and usually the harder material to find gives you a a better result but not in every type of um, crafting item so it, it may be very different you'll have to check out which which gives you the best result usually the items get colored green uh, blue I'm probably even better later I, I haven't I've done a few of the blue ones they seem to have better stats but then you just decide what is better for you um, you print the item and you unload it and it will just go into your inventory and don't worry you have a very big inventory I don't think there's a limit to the items you you can have but you can have a lot at least for now when you get the the new item printed you collect it you go to the battle frame garage choose your um, 
the, the part where your new module is, let's say for a weapon, and you see I have this printed Kisutun weapon already um, equipped. These are the basic models. I would change it here, or just like this, and I would use now an Asterix heavy machine gun. Okay, I think that's about it about the battle frames. Um, you can purchase additional base for them. They are an item mall item, um, but I don't think um, the game really is that expensive. Uh, 500 is uh, 50 uh, red beans. I think that's about four dollars, something like that. Okay, guys, hope this will help you out. Um, see you in game. Take you out.